Now, uh, Facebook has been facing a lot of questions around its part in spreading hate speech, misinformation, and harming users' mental health. But I guess the big question here is, uh, should social media platforms be seen as a key culprit in this issue, or does the fault lie with content creators? Well, absolutely, fault does lie with the content creators. People have been creating hate speech propaganda and saying terrible things before the advancement of social media, and we know this. Uh, what Facebook does, of course, is provide a platform that amplifies uh, hate speech and some of these other things that people are talking about. And that's where we need to really focus our attention to hold Facebook accountable and not necessarily the individuals. One way of doing that would be to have a better sense of the algorithms that Facebook uses. So these are largely uh, trade secrets. They're guarded by sort of an army of lawyers. The different social media platforms also restrict their algorithms. And so we don't really know uh, how Facebook uses its algorithm to monetize discontent, for example, when people are arguing online or promoting hate speech. We do know, and we've heard this from the whistleblower, that this is the case, but we don't have all of the details. There's a really great book called The Black Box Society, written by Frank Pasquale, who uh, talks about how algorithms are used for to leverage information to get money, essentially. So if, if the public was more aware of the algorithms, how they were created, how they were being used, and had some insight and say into the algorithms, uh, I think that would, uh, in large, large part, help address much, much of these problems. Some interesting points there, Doctor. Well, uh, Facebook most recently announced that it's expanding its policies on harassment to protect public figures. We know that was an ongoing issue. So tell us a little bit about these uh, changes and how they would uh, impact uh, people moving forward. So there are a couple of changes. One, Facebook has said that they are going to start uh, monitoring and eliminating what they call severe sexualizing content. That's what, what they've said. And we don't really have a full sense of how they're going to do this. Presumably, they're going to train AI to find these materials online. And, and it's in an effort to reduce uh, harassment uh, in relation to sexual harassment and sexualizing public figures. So another thing they've said they're going to do is remove uh, profiles, group pages that sexualize public figures. And on its face, of course, that sounds it's good. And in many circumstances, it is. However, what about those public figures who want to be sexualized? So for example, somebody like Stormy Daniels, who many uh, viewers will remember as the adult entertainer, porn star that was uh, tied in with, with Donald Trump. I mean, that, that's her persona. She's a sexualized public figure who embraces that and other adult entertainers as well. Will this, these new announcements equally uh, or adversely affect those individuals who are promoting themselves as sexual figures? We don't know. So is the AI going to remove these pages as well? Or will there be human moderators who will not remove those pages? Again, having some insight into how the algorithms and the programming of the AI is gonna work here would be really important. And another thing that Facebook announced they're gonna do is to remove what they're calling coordinated harassment. So multiple users, for example, who are harassing political figures or other people, including through messaging apps, uh, not just on the public side of Facebook, but, but private messaging as well. All right, sir. Well, just about a minute left here, but uh, Facebook says it's also targeting misinformation and hate speech, and it will add new safety features for teens on Instagram. So I guess the another question here would be, are these efforts enough? I think the short answer is, is no, and especially not without any sort of third party, third party, excuse me, accountability feature that's going to hold. Facebook right now is making its own rules and holding themselves accountable, which is was kind of unusual. And also, even if we were to eliminate all of that off of Facebook and even other social media platforms, it's still pervasive throughout pop culture, right? The images that we see on television and in movies, uh, magazines, fashion that that. Uh, heavily emphasizes women's bodies and, mm -hmm. and sexualizes women and young girls is it, still going to uh, be all around us. So it's not going to necessarily uh, mm -hmm. end the problem. Some interesting points there, Doctor. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.